Black boys play the classics. The most popular act in Penn Station is the three black kids in ratty sneakers and t-shirts playing two violins and a cello, Brahms. White men in business suits have already dug into their pockets as they pass and toss in a dollar or two without stopping. Brown men in work-soiled khakis stand with their mouths open, arms crossed on their bellies, as if they themselves have always wanted to attempt those pars. One white boy, three, sits cross-legged in front of his idols in ecstasy. Their slick, dark faces their thin, wiry arms who must begin to look like angels. Why does this trembling pull us? A. Beneath the surface we are one. B. Amazing. I did not think that they could speak this tongue. When I saw this scene happening one day on my way home to New Jersey from New York, I was thinking about the everyday ways racism changes the possibilities in our lives. And I think even more disastrously how it impacts the possibilities in the way we think, how it controls even what we are able to think about ourselves.